Hello, welcome to the games lesson number six. Today we're here to play some more games, new games. And uh, before we start with the warm up, I'm going to show you again the equipment that is going to be required for this lesson. We get back the six pairs of socks. We will need a ball or two in case you don't have uh, a ball, no problem, you can use the socks. Uh, two chairs, you can sit in there. The stick, towel, and a filled bottle of water. If you don't have a very heavy bottle of water like this, you need something heavy. If you have a stone at home, a stone, a book, uh, whatever you have that is heavy and after heating it, it's not going to move, okay? Good. Before we start, I wanted to suggest you something. Uh, after this lesson today, we will have played about 33 games, more or less. And I was thinking that what if I, or what if we choose the, the most popular games and mix them in one only lesson. So for that, I would need your opinion. So if you want to write me an email or something telling me my favorite game was the Lazy Dog Race or whatever, or that one with the tennis balls. Yeah, whatever the game is, uh, I will appreciate it and that way I will be able to do a mix with all the most popular games. Uh, having said this, we're going to start with the warm-up. Today we're going to do a generic warm-up, a basic warm-up. It's something that is adaptable for any sport in the world. Yeah? So imagining that we are moving forward and back, we're going to start just running and running back. Run, run back. Again, run, run. Now, knees up, like just a little bit, and really fast. And we go back, jogging. Again. Good. Now we raise our knees really up. And back. Again. It doesn't matter how much space you have, you can do it shorter. Now heels up. up, good, arms, back, again, back, now backwards, Now, two long steps, forth and back, two long steps, and back, two long steps, and back, one more time, two long steps, and back, a coordination exercise. One, one, two, one, two. Try again. So right, left, up, left, right, up, right, left, up. Good. This is very common in basketball. Now, this is very common in football. 
Change. The next one for the heat is it. Same leg going to the front, to the back, to the front, to the back. And at the same time, we move the arms to the opposite way. Good. Now, we're going to jump and stay, jump, stay, jump, balance, jump, balance. Again, jump, balance, jump, balance. It could be in the plate without going forwards or backwards. Good. Now, short sprint. Short sprint. It can be also in the place you spin there and moving the legs. Now, change of direction. Okay. Again. Good. Now, we are ready for the stretching. We start from the bottom. One, two, four. Good. Change. Castanemius. Change. There. Playing with the balance. We are stretching. Quarter sets. That muscle there. Good. Play with balance. Good. There you go. Good. Adapt adapters. All the position there. Change. I still feel the muscle pain there. I take the chance to say thank you to you all, the ones who are on the other side of the screen. Actually, this is for the school, for the whole school community, for all the students of all the classes, and you should be there. Yeah, because actually you should be following the timetable. Change. For the ones who don't have a good connection with Wi-Fi, doesn't matter. I upload the videos after one day. So you will be able to watch the videos at any time. Good. What's next? Deltoids. Good. Triceps. Triceps. Biceps and pectoralis major. Biceps, the pectoral is major, and the neck. Pull softly. Good. Time to start with the main part of the lesson. Good. The first is going to be the roller skater race. I don't know if you have done it before, but the posture
Good. Buster is something like this. And then you go. In this case, we're going to be jumping to the sides and we need to touch the floor with the opposite hand and with the other heel touch the heel of the leg supporting the body okay so something like okay so we're gonna do it four times and come back bringing the socks to the start line that way we're gonna raise the first one bringing here the last pair of socks wins all right come on get ready three two one go do it properly don't do it too fast and now back just running backwards again Good, come on back, keep going, third one, good, keep going for the last one, come on, and run, 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 time, good, this has been the first round of the first game. Good, now we're going to do a second race, but this time we're going to cross the opposite leg behind the leg supporting the body weight. So I would jump here and go like this. It's similar to the bowling posture. Okay? Ready? Now it's important to jump sideways, but a bigger jump than before. Come on. Three, two, one, go. Whoa. <laughs> I slide. Come on, back, 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 back. Whoa. One, two, three, four. Come on, go, go, go. Two. Come on, and keep going for the last one, three, four, and finish, good, well done guys, now we can move to the next game, don't worry, if you didn't like this one, maybe you will like the next one. Okay, so now we're using one ball, it can be one ball, it can be one pair of socks. So I'm gonna raise this a little bit, good. So now it's about throwing the ball and catching, throwing the ball and catching. You need to do it or you need to try it with either hand, yeah, and we're gonna count. And with both hands at the same time also. Whoop. We're gonna count how many we catch in one minute. Alright? And get ready. I give you five seconds. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. One, two, whoop. three. Whoa, no! Four! Five! Don't stop moving! Six! Seven! Eight! Oh, nine! Ten! Half time! Eleven! Twelve! Thirteen! Quickly! Fourteen! Fifteen! 16, 17, 18, oh no, what is it? 
I don't know, 20, maybe, 21, 22, 5 seconds, 23, 24, 25, 2 seconds, 6, 27, time, 27, I achieved. Ready for a second round, remember, we're going to try to throw the ball as fast as we can, but keeping it under control. Okay, that means I don't throw the ball if I don't have it like because I don't know where, where it goes. So we need to find the balance between speed and control. Three, two, one, go, second round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, come on, 20, 25 seconds, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, jump for it. Oh, 26, 27, oh no, 28, oh, 29, oh, no, <laughs> 2 seconds, 30, time, well done, oh, some of them were really difficult, one hit to the roof, and that was impossible to catch, good, Next one, this next game is going to be more intense. There you see it. We're going to use the socks as cones. Good. If you don't have enough space, you can use less pairs of socks or you can put them closer to each other. So now, we're going to hop, first, what is hopping, is jumping just with one leg, so we need to do the whole circuit, circuit, sorry, go, keep going, here, turn around, good, and finish, we're going to race, twice with our leg and twice with our uh, sorry, with our right and twice with our left. Yeah, alternating. So get ready. Three, two, one, go. Come on, right leg. Quickly. Keep going. Quickly. Time. That's one point for Jose. <laughs> if I am wrong, just let me know. Good. Left leg. Ready? Three, two, one. Go time. Come on. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Come on. Time. That point is for that student from class 7B that I know is there. I'm not saying names. Come on. Right leg again. Three, two, wait, 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 wait. Now, the way back, backwards. Okay? Come on. Three, two, one, go. Come on. Keep going. Quickly. Now backwards is more difficult. Go, 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 go. Time. Finished. That point is for that one. From class six, that is there competing against me. Well done if you are in class six. And left leg, remember the way back, backwards. Three, two, one, go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Keep going. Keep going. Finish! 
So that point I think is again for Jose or no, maybe for someone from class 7A or from class 8. Maybe you are there also. I know some of class 7A that are there. Hello. <laughs> Good. Next one. Now we're using the bottle. Ring a little bit. It's a hot day. Okay. So I'm gonna set the bottle here. And we're gonna get the six pairs of socks. We're gonna put three and three next to each other and we're gonna get into the bowling center if you remember yesterday I told you that we will that we would compete today so we start from standing position and we do one step no first sorry we start with one pair of socks in the hand then step throw if I don't hit the bottle, no point. Before I stand up, I cut the next one. Then one, two, three, four. And I throw with left. I cut the next one. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's one point. All right? So coordination plus accuracy. Okay, ready? The other thing that I didn't say is that we're gonna throw 12 times. So after the six, the six first throws, or first tries, we get them back quickly, very quickly, go back there and throw six times again. So, one pair of socks in the hand. Ready? Three, two, one, go! One point. One, two, three. Two points. Oh, no. One, two. No, I missed. One, two, four. Three points. Sorry. One, two, three, four. Good. Four points. One, two, three, four. Yes, five points. I just missed one. I need to go back. Oh, I'm missing one. What is it? Oh, it's here behind it. Computer. Good. Again, quickly. I start from the other side. Oh, six points. One, two, three, four. No. One, two, three, four. No. One, two, three. Yes. Seven points. Eight points. And nine points. And this was the bowling center game. In this one, unconsciously, we were working a lot our legs because we needed to go down to the knees and that posture close to the floor. Yeah, concentration on the aim. So it was a good game. Good job, guys. We have two more games. Good, now, we're using the chairs. And this is going to be the sideways raise under the stick. Oops, sorry. The socks are going to be here. Whoop. You can see them. There. So now, sideways, we cannot cross the legs. Okay, the leg, the, 
that is farther away from the socks cannot cross the other one or touch the other one. So we need to move the legs quickly. You see? Like that. And we need to go under the stick sideways as well. So if I'm side, right here, I say go. This is just an example. I go quickly down, here, down, and continue. Okay? Every time I come to pick a pair of socks, I change the side. So I start facing there, the next one there, the there, the there, alternating. All right, and three, two, one, go, come on, come on, come on. Whoa. With me, one. Two. Come on, keep going. The taller you are, the worse. Oh, because it's, it becomes more difficult to go down here. Yeah. Four. Two more. Good. Keep going. One more. It's the last one. Come on, don't give up. Don't give up. Finish. Good. This was a hard one, wasn't it? So next game. In the next one, we're going to work more muscular endurance. We're going to start in push-up position. Sorry. We're not using socks in this one. We go like three steps away from the computer or the laptop or the camera and in push up position without bending the knees, we come here to high five to the camera. Okay? We race two times and it's go there. I have five, I come back to the start line, my hands need to cross the start line and in the second time that I come, I high five with my left hand, first right, then left, or first left and then right, no problem. So three steps away, are you ready? This is going to be a hard one, be ready and don't give up, three, Two, one, go, come on. Don't bend your knees, I see you. High five. The more slippery your floor is, the better. It's similar to the lazy dog. And time. Good. Did you beat me? I don't think so, because my floor is very slippery. And I didn't need to walk with the feet. I just slide. Good. Second race. So that's one point for Jose. Now this is the last race of the day. Be ready. It's the last effort. It's the last opportunity to beat your teacher. <laughs> Three, two, one. Go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. High five! Second one! High five! And time finished! Good! That was really hard! That was an amazing games workout! I think we worked really well, sometimes without being aware of the intensity, and that's good, because your muscles are working a lot, and you're having fun, and not feeling that possible pain that you would feel if you would be getting bored. 
So thank you for being there. As I said, try to write me an email just with your favorite games. And I will try to do a remix, as in music, right? <laughs> a games remix with the most popular games for or to do them, to play them in one lesson. If there are more than six or five, maybe I can, I could even uh, mix them and create two different lessons. So two lessons with the most popular games. That would be really, really fun and really nice. So thank you for watching. I hope you have fun and see you tomorrow. Bye.